Well, 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 well. Welcome to another tantalizing episode of Metropo Sports Center. My name is Nashon Owano. Hope you've been following up on what's been going on in the sports world. It's time for a weekly wrap up of what's going on in the world of sports. Ahead on our topics of discussion today, we're going to be taking a quick look or a de an in-depth look into the menace that is the coronavirus that is affecting every sphere in the world. I mean, look at sports. In the, in the sports sphere, there's been a lot of uh, interruptions, cancellation, postponement of major league games that were supposed to be played. Apart from that, you're going to be looking at the Kenya Premier League fixtures, how the fixtures stacked up, which teams won, which teams lost. Remember this past weekend was the Mashimeji Derby. So who went home with, uh, with the win this past weekend? Also, another news that probably might have missed out on this past uh, week, this week, was uh, Liverpool is out of the Champions League. I remember a couple of weeks ago we were talking about the Champions curse, which is basically meaning that if a team has won a trophy the previous season, the following season, they end up being knocked out of the tournament. Talking of the the Champions Cup, you can remember that is the same thing that happened to Germany in the, in the, in the in, in, in a previous World Cup that uh, took place. Let's quickly dive into the major topic of discussion that is causing ripples all over the world. I mean, right now it goes without saying that the biggest pandemic that is uh, that is disrupting activities in the world is the coronavirus. The coronavirus implications or uh, affects every part of the world. Right now, there have been business conferences that have been cancelled in the world there have been sporting activities that has been that, that have been cancelled just this week on Wednesday in the evening the NBA suspended the games basically suspended the whole fixtures suspended the season in the NBA because one player from the Utah Jazz was found to be having the coronavirus so let's just let's just take a moment to understand what what actually the coronavirus is about how many casualties have been have been reported to have uh, died from the coronavirus and how many people are currently infected by the virus as of the as of the as, as of earlier this week a total of 3,800 people had been had died out of the coronavirus remember this number is told up from the total numbers from the whole world basically globally 3,800 people have died from the virus out of that 3,800 people there's been a total of 110 uh, infections of the coronavirus. Uh, earlier in the week, the number was standing as 3,800, but as of the time of the presentation of this program, there's a total of 3,892 3, deaths. A total of 111,354 people had been reported to be infected by the virus, and a total of 62,383 people are reported to have recovered from the coronavirus. Now, one major thing that we need to mention about the coronavirus is about the number of high profile individuals who have been reported to have been infected by the virus. Some of the notable people that have been reported to have been infected by the coronavirus, first of all, is Daniel Rugani. Daniel Rugani, remember, is a defender for Juventus Football Club. There is Tom Hanks and uh, Rita who also posted on their Instagram pages reporting that they've been diagnosed by the coronavirus and as a result of that, they were self-isolating. A common term that you've heard from probably from whole conversation about the coronavirus. Another person who's been uh, reported to have been infected by the coronavirus, I beg your pardon, is Evangelos Mar Mar Marinakis. Marinakis, if you remember, is the president of uh, Olympiacos and was also the owner of Nottingham Forest. Uh, the other person who's been infected by the coronavirus is NBA player. Rudy Gobert. Remember, Rudy Gobert played for plays for Utah Jazz. Now, sticking on uh, matters basketball, that is from Rudy Gobert's story. Remember that. Uh, the game that was to be played between the Utah Jazz and the Thunders was cancelled when the report came out that Rudy Gobert was uh, infected by coronavirus. As a result, um, medical practi practitioners are trying to have a look at some of the players who might have gotten into contact with Rudy before the report came out that he was infected by the coronavirus. Some of the teams that have played with uh, Utah Jazz prior to the news coming out was Cleveland Cavaliers who had played against the Utah Jazz. The New York Knicks had also played 
with uh, the Utah Jazz and then Boston Celtics, Detroit Pistons and also last season's winners, the Toronto Raptors. Now quickly, let me take you briefly through some of the countries that uh, have registered some of the highest number of coronavirus infections. First of all, we have China where this whole conversation started of the coronavirus. Remember it was started, it, the conversation started when it was discovered in, in Wuhan. Uh, there's China, there's South Korea, then there's Italy. Italy which has in subsequent times um, recorded a high number of infections from the coronavirus. Speaking of Italy, as you're talking right now, there are major leagues, major, major games in the league. Basically the league, the major fixtures in the league have been postponed or have been cancelled altogether because of the coronavirus. Remember, man, part, of, uh, part of the motivations or part of the reasons why such the whole season had to be cancelled was to contain the whole situation that is the coronavirus. Now, in case you're wondering where, which, which are some of the events that have been cancelled because of the coronavirus, these are some of the major uh, sporting activities that have been caused or have been cancelled in the world. There was the PNP Bar Paribas Open, which is a very pre prestigious uh, tennis tournament that takes place around this time of the year, has been cancelled. Then there was Island Women's Cricket Tour to Thailand for a four-team tournament was cancelled because of the coronavirus. The 2020 IIIHF Women's World Championship was cancelled. Indian Wells Tennis Tournament was cancelled. 2021 European Under-21 Championship Qualifier that was going to pit Romania against Denmark was cancelled. Remember there was the Chinese Grand Prix which was supposed to be happening which was also cancelled because as you understand uh, China is at the epicenter of the spread of uh, the corona virus. Other, other major events that have been uh, cancelled include the World Judo Tour event which was cancelled and the European Tours Kenya Open which was actually supposed to be happening in Kenya. It was cancelled because of the coronavirus scare. Some of uh, the events that were taking place and uh, were allowed to take place albeit under restricted conditions. One major such activity was the Tokyo Marathon which was allowed to take place but uh, sort of uh, with a control environment. By control environment I mean the number of people that were going into the, that particular event were only people that were necessary to be in that event. Other events that uh, were allowed to take place albeit uh, restricted circumstances was the Morocco Fed Morocco Football Federation which was allowed to take place. Um, then there was the Gymnastics World Cup event in Doha, Qatar. Then there's the Bahrain Grand Prix which was uh, supposed to be taking place. It was allowed. There was a whole conversation on whether it should be cancelled or it should be allowed but even eventually the organizers allowed the event to proceed uh, which means they are, no, they are not going to be spectators. I mean if you follow Formula 1 basically you'll understand that the fun and the thrill of Formula 1 is having whole stands where fans are there cheering, uh, jumping up and down, celebrating when uh, Lewis Hamilton probably passes one of the Cubs or something of the sort. But uh, this time it's going to be sort of an empty or a quiet uh, audience for the drivers in the Formula One. Uh, the other games that have been um, given restricted uh, conditions to play was a Champions League fixture that was Borussia Dortmund that was playing against uh, Paris Saint-Germain. The game was allowed at Blade and uh, a restricted uh, environment. The other postponed events, major postponed events that have taken place because of, the, because of the coronavirus, one of them is the Six Nations Rugby Tournament that was taking place and then there was the Rome Marathon that was postponed because of all that. Then a couple of weeks back we were talking about the Singapore Sevens which our national team uh, was supposed to be participating in was postponed because of the coronavirus. There was the Japanese Baseball League season which was supposed to be starting and has been postponed because of the corona virus. The other major game include the Barcelona Marathon and then the World Athletics Half Marathon Championships. Now some of the major events that are seriously under review and the organizers of, of the event will say as of this moment as we are talking right now are still torn between whether to cancel the event, uh, to postpone the event or to 
uh, to, to give uh, restrictions on how they are going to be held, include the major event that is going to be taking place, which is the Tokyo Olympics. Remember, our country will be participating in the Tokyo Olympics, and as you follow on the, on the Olympics, you understand that it draws a lot of attention from uh, various teams uh, from different fields all over the world. So the organizers are toying with the idea of either postponing the event. But here's the thing that you need to understand, that uh, at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year, the beginning of every calendar year, there is there is there is a timetable, sort of a schedule that is given by either the the, the transmitters or the television uh, broadcasters in terms of what time, which particular, which what time is appropriate for any particular sporting event. So understand that, for example, if Tokyo Olympics is postponed to a later date, then that whole idea is going to affect another the broadcasting program of another sporting activity. So it's such a delicate balance and at Metropo Sports Center we are going to be clearly following the whole conversation on coronavirus and understand what the organizers of the Tokyo Olympics are going to decide on finally on the whole conversation on whether we are going to have the Tokyo Olympics this year or we're going to have to wait uh, a bit longer to have the Olympics take place. Talking of matters Olympics, we understand that Kenya is synonymous with, um, with, uh, with, with athletics. Now, earlier this week, the president of uh, the chairman of Sports Kenya, that is Fred Muteti, and the director general, Pius Meta, hold, held a press conference to just give an update on what's the situation in the country. So I managed to attend the press conference, and this is what they had to say about the the whole uh, sp uh, athletics calendar or the major changes that are going to take place in the stadia environment in Kenya. Now, from that particular bite, you can watch the take home from that particular bite is we are going to be having the World Athletics Continental Tour, which is going to be taking place on the 2nd of May, and the event is going to be held at the Kasarani Stadium. The other major event, a very calendar event for the IAAF, is the World Under-20 Athletic Championship, which is going to take place from 7th to 13th of July in the country. Remember, the same, the, the, the Under-20 Athletic Championship is also going to be taking place at the 
the Moy Sports Center Kasarani. Now, in case you've been wondering, for the past four years when the Nyayo National Stadium is going to be opened, well, here's a reprieve for you. The stadium is finally going to be opened three weeks from now. Now, you can start counting. You can start your timer now. You can start your calendar. The Nyayo National Stadium is going to be opened officially three weeks from now, which is going to be a reprieve from May, some of the major football teams that we have in the country, AFC Leopards in particular, because if you're following the Kenya Premier League, which you're going to be taking, talking about later on after the break, you realize that the Nyayo National Stadium was, there like, was, was like their home ground. So opening the Nyayo National Stadium is going to be a big relief for the team. Fun fact, just before we take a short commercial break, uh, did you know that in 2014, the sports industry made a total of 60.5 billion dollars? Um, last year, the, 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 the sports industry made a total of 73.5 billion dollars in terms of revenue. Remember earlier on the show, we were talking about the coronavirus. Now, this year, the number is projected to drop because of the coronavirus, but you're going to be following up the story and we're going to keep you updated and let you know um, how much that money, that amount of money would have dipped to. Well, we take a short commercial break, but after, after the break, we're going to be taking a look into the Kenya Premier League, the Champions, the Champions League, and the English Premier League. See you after the break.